Hey Capricorns, welcome to the weekly love read. Well, now it's every two weeks, uh, weekly love reading for uh, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is going to be for the first half of November, so November 1st to the 15th. For those who didn't see the update video that I did, I started to do this because I need to make more space in my life for more things, okay? So stuff in my personal life and stuff in my professional life with some opportunities that have come up recently, okay? So it's okay. It happens. It's nothing wrong with that. There's just, it's change. We all need some change every once in a while, right, Capricorns? So for those who are new to my channel, I always go over my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy you could be experiencing directly or someone within your environment or someone you're energetically attached to. And yes, I'm sure you can tell my voice is quite raspy. Uh, I've been having a lot of issues with my allergies, my asthma, and my throat chakra for many reasons. So just hang in there with me. It's also another reason I have to take my time with videos recently, okay? So Capricorn. I, mm, mm, the energy, the energy around you guys. Someone's assumed a role. Someone stepped up. It like, honestly, that's exactly how it feels. It feels very alpha. Some, uh, me, male or female, doesn't matter. But it's very, very alpha energy uh, for this first half of November for you Capricorns. I literally saw someone sitting on a throne, like quite literally. Also, a lot of Leo energy, a lot of Leo energy. It was really cool because I wish I still had this deck. Um, It's the, um, it's the Witch's Tarot deck. And I, I started out with, I started, Jesus, I can't talk, guys. I'm sorry. I started my channel using that deck, but it got ruined, unfortunately. And the King of Wands in that deck is very, like, has a lot of character, if you've ever seen that deck, okay? And that's actually what they showed me, but it was, like, almost like live action. Like, they showed me a King of Wands, that particular King of Wands going and sitting on a throne. And then I saw a cat, like a big cat walk by. I couldn't tell what kind of cat it was. It could have been a lion. It was, it's a lot of Leo energy. King of Wands is Leo. Um, but either way, uh, Capricorns, someone has assumed their role or a role. I want to say their role because it seems like something they feel very entitled to, whether this is you or someone you're connecting with, okay? Keep in mind, energy is fluid. So any messages that I give you, if they're not resonating directly, the roles can be reversed, okay? So just know that. I was also getting like ocean spray. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Maybe you're by the water. Maybe you're by the ocean. Maybe you need to be by the ocean. Maybe you like the ocean fragrances. I don't know. But <laughs> I got ocean spray. And then I saw chalk. I saw white chalk. And that made me a little nervous. White chalk is used for many different things in the esoteric world. But protection came to mind. Like I said, it's used for many different things. It's used to basically protect energy or banish energy all, you know, all around setting boundaries of some sort around energy. OK, so like I said, someone's assumed a role, taken on that leadership role. Very happy to be sitting there in their throne, whatever, whatever kind of throne they're sitting in. They're very happy to be sitting in it, whether it's you or someone else. A lot of Leo energy and there is a sense of needing to protect yourself or someone's doing a lot of. Pro oh, someone's protecting. Thank you, spirit. Someone's protecting. I like it. I really like this. I really like this Capricorn. I almost called you guys Leos. Some of you guys are definitely know the Leo or have that in your chart. Um, so let's go ahead and do the pre-shuffle on screen. And then we'll go ahead and get into the reading, okay? Mm. Please bring forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, November 1st to the 15th. Mm. I'm getting a lot of um like blue and green blue and green energy um your heart chakra and upper chakras might need to be focused on around this time not surprising giving mercury retrograde um but green is also associated with the heart chakra as well i feel like someone's just had to be honest with themselves about something because there's been some kind of trigger to get this person and again this could be you uh to get up and assume their role take the lead on something uh they're right it's like rightful spot i'm getting rightful spot Rightful spot. Rightful spot. Please bring forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, November 1st to the 15th. Please bring forward any messages for, of truth, healing, and love for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I keep getting October. Uh, November 1st to the 15th. Something might have happened in October. You could have met... Somebody met somebody. <laughs> somebody could have met somebody in October prompting this event some of you could have met a catalyst some of you could have met a catalyst or you could have acted as a catalyst for somebody something happened in october something happened in october i mean i'm filming this in october too but 
Closing forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, November 1st to the 15th. Oh, I, I, I. hold on, guys. Hold on. <laughs> the card's about a lot of personality lately. Wow. Okay. High Priestess in Reverse. Piscean Energy could also be Gemini for me as a reader. Five of Swords, Venus and Aquarian Energy, and King Cups, Scorpionic Energy could also be Water or Air. Something has come to light here about a King of Cups Energy. I, with the King of Cups and the Five of Swords, I'm actually getting its determination. Usually it's like mind games or tug of war, but it can also be like victory at all costs, right? I'm gonna make this happen. Gotta make this happen. Excuse me. I did eat before this. My bad. Anyway. Uh, some, someone is determined here and it's in this determination is coming out of love. It's coming out of love. I feel protective energy with this too. I feel like this King of Cups, whoever this King of Cups is, Capricorn, again, whether it's you, someone else, don't get caught up on the gender guys. Again, this is just a pre-shuffle. This is not the, you know, the reading. I'm just showing you guys what's coming out here. Uh, out of love, they're wanting, they're very determined to be victorious in some way, shape or form. And I do feel it is about protection. I feel like this wasn't obvious. This hasn't been obvious. This hasn't been obvious until now. <laughs> As I say, obvious. The moon. Illusions. Uh, Piscean energy. Energy. Also, can't see for me as a reader. A lot of water, guys. A lot of water going on here. Look at all the water you guys have. All water cards, except for that five of swords, indicating that deter determination. That terminate determination. Jesus. Ah, I, I'm not going to have my words with me for a while, guys. But the moon. I'm getting heavy emotion with that heavy emotion with that. I'm also getting confusion too. Yeah, I think this moon energy, whatever's behind it, whatever's going to come out preceding the, um, after this, excuse me, whatever's following this was kind of masking this determination. Whether this, okay, whoever this is, they're fighting for something. They're fighting for something. I don't think they've always fought this hard, which I think is why it hasn't been obvious. It might not have even been obvious to this person how much they cared about something or a situation and how much it meant to them or a person or a person. Seeing a wolf. Yeah, someone's learned. Someone's learned here. Um, I feel like this King of Cups has gone through something recently, making them realize how much they do care about a certain person or a situation, putting them into action mode and determination, major determination, major determination. Mm. Closing forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. They're actually showing me a black wolf. That's really interesting. Those don't exist. As far as, far as I know, those don't actually exist. But a black wolf. Something about the shadow. This person has battled some inner demons recently. This person has um, dealt with their shadow side recently. Gone through some very dark stuff as well. First. <clears throat> For some, it's just dealing with their shadows, their inner demons. Others, I think they've actually gone through a very dark period. My camera, I, I, I got to do something about that. My camera keeps freaking out. If the, if the audio gets messed up, guys, I apologize in advance. Um, others, they've actually been dealing with someone, uh, someone or something very dark, like a situation more so than themselves or aspects of themselves. Closing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm hearing power. Power. Please bring forth... Oh, Jesus. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Star, Universe, Aquarian Energy. For some, it was depression. Straight out. For some, depression, dark night of the soul energy that this King of Cups was dealing with. And now they're coming out of that. Now they're moving past that in the first half of November. I really feel strongly more like Mid-November, probably probably after the full moon. Probably after the full moon in Taurus on the 12th. Um, but yeah, that's actually what I'm getting with this. Coming out of a dark night of the soul energy or dealing with something dark or dealing with dark, dark aspects of themselves, that was almost masking this person's own awareness of their emotions. Yeah. And now they're out of that with the high priestess in reverse. And now they're very determined. They're very determined. This king of cups is, is in protective mode as well. They're eager to protect something. Closing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Ooh, four of cups in reverse. Okay, someone was definitely depressed. 
This is a very heavy depressed energy. The moon, the star universe, and the four cups universe. Four cups universe is rejection, but it is also an energy that can lean towards depression in isolating oneself and rejecting everything else around them, right? Or feeling abandoned themselves. I'm actually hearing worthless. Yeah, for some, it, it was more than just a dark night of the soul. For some, it was depression, okay? Oh, Capricorns. Star enough heavy. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get into the reading. So for those who are new to tarot or new to my channel, please know these messages are very general, okay? Messages come through for those who need to hear them, so it's not always going to be for you, and that's okay. There are plenty of other readers on YouTube, guys, and something like this, you may or may not want to be your message, right? <laughs> so don't need to throw any hate or shade. Ain't your message. Just watch someone else. Or just, you know, support those that are watching, what have you. Um, also, guys, we are working with energy. So just know the energy can be reversed or vice versa. So if it's resonating, but the rules are reversed, just switch them. Just switch them. You don't need to tell me. Just switch them. Um, also, guys, don't get caught up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. And this is for the first half of November, but time is not linear. Whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it. And we all work through energy differently at different rates. Okay. Any messages for Capricorn? Now I'm hearing hunting. What is this? Hunting. It's almost like, um, I, they say hunting, but hunting doesn't feel right. I think it's more like stalking, not like the predatory, you know, creepy stalker, like stalking, like you know, you, you creep up on something that you want. Again, not creepy. I know the lingo probably sounds really creepy. It doesn't feel creepy. It doesn't feel negative. It's almost like cautiously taking your time towards something that you want. Thank you. Cautiously taking your time towards something that you want. That's what that is. In that healthy stalking kind of way, okay? <laughs> healthy stalking. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love for the first half of November? Any messages for Capricorn regarding love for the first half of November? Any messages for Capricorn regarding love for the first half of November? Oh, the fool. I like it. Um, that's so interesting. Excuse me. Aries energy also could be Aquarius because it's the earnest, but it did her fixed. It did her fixed. Give it down with a, with a fixed sign, Capricorn, or you give it a strong fixed placement. Aqua is fixed. Aqua is a, a fixed energy. Ooh, the Hierophant, Taurian energy. Talk about more fixed energy. And like I said, we have the full moon in Taurus on the 12th of November. Uh, wow, this is seriously someone like listening to their higher self. There's someone listening to their higher self, taking someone's advice to take a leap on something, take a risk on something. I do feel advice being sought out. Could be in the form of therapy or in the form of a counselor or superior of sorts, but someone seeking advice, whether through three-dimensional means, like through a counselor, like I said, or through their own intuition or just listening to their guides, uh, following their own instincts here to take a leap of faith towards something. I like that. I like that. Any messages for Capricorn? Some of you are trying to get into politics or take a stand against, pol against they're telling me against, against politics. Interesting. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Is this just, just delayed? Or is this insta instability? It's instability. There's instability here. Um, taking a risk on something because something's not stable. Yeah, following intuition, following intuition because something doesn't feel right. Something doesn't feel right. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love? Someone feels like they're missing their chance, though. Someone feels like they're missing their chance. I think that's okay. That's why they're needing to take a leap of faith. That's why they're needing to ask for advice or seek advice or just follow their own intuition towards something because they feel like something might be fleeting out the window here. That's causing instability in this person's life. Whoever's needing to take this risk or feels like they're losing their chance at something, it's making them feel more unstable and they don't like the instability. They're like, okay, maybe I should just jump. Maybe I should just go for it. Maybe I should just go for it. Any messages for Capricorn? Any messages for Capricorn regarding love for the first half of November? Any messages for Capricorn? Oh, Knight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. 
Yeah, I feel like someone's been holding back for a while. It's almost like so, I've been dropping cards for the last like week and a week or so. But it's not a Cups universe, not Ace of Pentacles universe. Someone has been holding back. Someone's been holding back, and because of that, an opportunity has been slipping away. And someone's like, God damn it. Okay. 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 I'm doing it. Maybe I should leap. Maybe I should leap. Maybe I should go for it. Maybe I should just go for it. But yeah, I do feel like someone's been holding their tongue. They're telling me holding their tongue. Holding their tongue. Any messages for Capricorn? Any messages for Capricorn? Someone's really traditional here. Oh, oh hold on. Someone's really traditional here. Um, I feel like tradition's been holding this person back. Could be religion. Like if this is an offer about love, because again, this could be like, you know, just work or friends or what have you. Because, you know, as we as I used to say all the time, I haven't said it in a long time. So for my newbies, just understand that when it comes to love readings, every reading is essentially love reading because of the spectrum of love emotions, right? Even respect and admiration. And we all love our work. We all love ourselves, too, or at least we should. Right. So just know that that it can also be more than just romance. But someone here is really traditional. I feel like for some, this tradition was holding this person back. It could be cultural, could be religion hearing expect actually i am hearing expectations it's going to be for some of you any messages for capricorn any messages for capricorn regarding love for the first half of november Let's see here oh nine of cups in reverse piscean energy so more of that depressive energy i'm also getting drinking i i am also getting drinking not for everybody, but for some, definitely we got some drinkers here, okay? They feel like masculine energies. There's some feminine feminine energies in there too, by the way. But then we have a six of wands, victory, success, attention, attention. Why am I seeing people? Wait, wait, wait. I'm actually seeing like a ceremony. This is interesting. Um, it's not a graduation. No, I'm like, I'm seeing people stand. I'm like, it's weird. They're only showing me their feet. It's so weird. They're only showing me their feet. I can tell people are standing because of the like the angles of the legs. I can tell people are standing. And then I'm seeing people walking. Anyway, attention. Someone's getting attention. There's a ceremony going on here for some, but success. Success will be had. Overall energy, we do have the magician. Mercurial energy, so Virgo, Gemini. Could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy. Manifestation, getting, at, getting your ass to work. <laughs> getting your ass to do that leap of faith that you're um, listening to your higher self to do or getting advice to do. I keep hearing tradition. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Oh, my goodness. Mm. I keep hearing tradition, though. Is this a wedding? What is this? I like, I, I don't know why the word tradition bothers me. I don't know why, but it just does. And, and what I just saw, I'm like, oh, mm, that, that could... I don't want to call that yet. I don't want to call that yet. Underneath the magician, we do have the two of cups in reverse. Cancerian energy. Also soulmate energy for me as a reader. Uh, someone's manifesting uh, with a connection on their mind. A connection that's been fragmented. A connection that's been bruised. I'm hearing bruised. Oh, for some forgotten. For some, either you or someone you're connecting with feels neglected. And someone's trying to manifest um, reparations. Someone's trying to manifest repair manifest repair but there's gonna be victory there will be victory by the end of this that's for damn sure okay but someone has been defining depression they want me to keep re reiterating that um if you've been wondering if someone's depressed they are if you've had that inkling and you're not sure they are okay all right so now we have the fool with the hair font so let's go ahead and look at the fool let's look at this risk i love that the fool card is first i mean that's what Hierophant with the lovers in reverse. I feel like someone's trying to manifest not just repair, but um, elevated commitment or elevating a relationship here. Because I feel ceremony, I feel tradition, I'm getting attention. And someone's been holding back, holding back, and holding their tongue. Can I about the fool? Can I about the fool? Someone's also wondering if they should break tradition. Oh, I like this. Someone's wondering if they should break tradition. They're scared, though. They're really scared. Time about the fool. Time about the fool. For Capricorn. Time about the fool. 
for Capricorn regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about the full. Tell me about the full for Capricorn. Why? Come on. <laughs> the card was running away from me. Knight of Pentacles. Oh my God, what did I say? That slow, slow, slow approach towards what you want. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, could also be earth or fire, slowest moving knight in the freaking deck. But look what he's got. That Ace of Pentacles. That's almost slipping through the fingers. That someone's kind of holding back on. Interesting. Talking about the Fool. Talking about the Fool. I'm also getting nervous. Nervous. I almost feel like like this knight, whatever that pentacle is, it's like they're like they're a little shaky like I don't um, mm, mm, <laughs> like I don't know I don't know I don't know yeah someone wants to break tradition here but they're nervous to do it they're really nervous to do it tell me about the fool tell me about the fool for Capricorn regarding love for the first half of November someone has a strong Virgo placement <clears throat> excuse me Talking about the fool, they're also saying prominent, prominent and strong. Oh, the hair of uh, not the hair of the high priestess. That's so crazy. The high priestess, Piscean energy. Oh, come back, Piscean energy. Also, Gemini for me as a reader with the eight of wands, Sag energy. Oh, wow. Okay, <laughs> I love this. Uh, someone wants to talk, someone wants to make action, someone wants to move here. They're keeping it a secret. They're keeping it a secret, though. This is like a secret move, a secret plan, a secret plan, secret communique. Yeah. OK, whoever this magician is who is trying to repair a connection or bring a connection to life is also what they're telling me. Bring a connection to life or repair a connection for bringing a connection to life. I, I'm, I'm getting that it's probably a newer connection that hasn't been fully cemented yet or hasn't found a strong foundation yet. OK. Um, but they want to take a risk and they're following their intuition, following their intuition, following their guides, trying to figure out if it's the best thing that they, if it's the best thing for them, they know, they know that they want it for some, they have to break tradition to do it, but it hasn't really been talked about. It hasn't really been talked about. It's kind of been withheld a little bit because they're literally holding on to it. They're literally holding on to it and not giving it over, but secretly they're ready to, they're ready for it. They're ready for it. I don't think that they're talking to people about this. Tell me about the fool. Tell me about the fool. And for some, this magician's been depressed up until now or through a dark night of the soul or fighting some darker, shadowy aspects of themselves. Tell me about the fool. Or they've just been through something really heavy and dark recently. Tell me about the fool. For Capricorn, regarding love for the first half of November. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, spirit. That's a lot. That's a lot. Look, look at the stack they just threw at me. I know they want me to take it though. I yeah. Okay, okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Okay, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> so let's start here. King of Cups has made a reappearance. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. So that same energy that we've been picking up on. The same person who's like, no, but I want to. Okay, secretly I will. I just can't tell anybody. Just can't tell anybody. This person's really in love. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, my gosh. This person is in love, but I'm hearing they're practical about it. They're practical about it. Yeah, this person typically I find follows tradition. Typically, this person follows tradition. Um, and even though they have a lot of emotion here for whoever they want to approach or make this offer to, they're practical about it. They're practical about it. They only say that one more time. They're practical about it. Take that as it resonates. And then we have, ooh, my. <clears throat> Six of Pentacles, Taurian energy with the full universe. Aries energy could also be Aquarius, could it's a Uranus card. Then we have the Ace of Swords in reverse with the Emperor in reverse. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. Why do I feel like there's lies here though? Something, does, something doesn't feel honest. That might also be what this person's holding back. There's some, there's something not honest here with the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Emperor in reverse. Something's not honest here. But with the Six of Pentacles and the King of Cups, this is definitely a giver. 
This is definitely a giver. Um, more of a giver than a taker is actually what they're telling me. They're definitely more of a giver than a taker, especially when it comes to affection. Okay, especially when it comes to affection. Uh, but then we have the full universe with the Ace of Swords universe and the Emperor universe. I'm not loving this energy, guys. We might have to look at the Ace of Swords here because I just I don't I just feel a lack of honesty. I feel lack of honesty. It could be lack of honesty with themselves. Like I said, we're picking up on that a little bit. Like someone hasn't really been aware of the of the depths of their emotion because of whatever darkness has been overshadowing that or whatever shadow aspects have been kind of, no pun intended, shadowing that. Um, that could definitely be the case because full universe, it's almost like I don't want it. I don't, oh, okay. They're, they're not honest with themselves. That's what that is. Thank you. This is someone who hasn't been honest with themselves. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. God damn it. I want that. <laughs> God damn it. I do want that. It's almost like someone wasn't listening to their intuition before. And now they are. Now they're actually following their instincts. Now they're actually listening to themselves, listening to their heart a little bit too is what I'm getting. Uh, listening to what they actually do want and they're not lying to themselves anymore. This is someone who's been trying to control things in their life. A little bit of a, not a control freak, not that, not that extreme. But definitely got some control issues. Restraining themselves. This is someone who deprives themselves. Deprives themselves. Excuse me. This is someone who typically deprives themselves, which is why they're telling themselves, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. I shouldn't go for that. I shouldn't go for that. Oh, good. No, I do. I should. I should and I do. I should and I do. I should and I do. And they are quite the giver here. Quite the giver. Now we have. Oh, yeah. Hangman. Piscean energy with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy with the Two of Cups. Two of Cups upright. Cancerian energy. Soulmate energy. King of Pentacles. Taurian energy could also be Earth or Air. Wow. This person is a King of Cups and a King of Pentacles. That's exactly the combination you want in a partner. A partner in love, this is what you want. Someone who commits in a practical way, in a three-dimensional way, in a tangible way. When it comes to, you know, uh, stability, the household money even, um, very equal. I'm hearing very equal, very fair, very fair. Can we deal with a Libra? Um, I just got a lot of Libra and energy all of a sudden. King of Cups, all that love, committing in love. And again, they keep telling me they are a giver. <laughs> I don't know why they keep saying that over and over. Anyway, this person, oh, I'll put this person back over here. This person back over here wants to ground this. They do want to ground this. They do. But for whatever reason, they are keeping it a secret. I don't know why they're keeping it a secret. They're not telling anybody. They're moving in, they're moving in silence. They're moving quietly. They're moving quietly, both the hangman and the seven of pentacles in reverse. This is someone who has spent some time thinking about this for probably too long. Honestly, probably too long. Especially, you know, remember they're coming across as a knight of pentacles while holding the holding on to this, right? Holding on to this, really doubting themselves if it was worth it, if they should, if they shouldn't. And finally, they just decided to start listening to their higher selves. I should. I should. So let's move on. Ace of Pentacles in reverse with the Knight of Cups in reverse. This is them holding back, okay? This is them in that Knight of Pentacles energy of, I'm going to hold it, I'm going to hold it, I'm going to hold it. Because I don't know, I don't know. Because I don't know what I want to do. Do I want this? Do I not want this? And I really feel like it was because of tradition. This is so interesting. Mostly because of tradition. Let's look at the Knight of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Let's go for Gilded. A lot of love here. A lot of love here. Tell me about Knight of Cups in reverse. The signs that have come through really strong. Um, uh, Libra, Pisces, and Leo, for sure. Tell me about Knight of Cups in reverse. For Capricorn. Regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about the Knight of Cups in reverse for Capricorn. Regarding love for the first half of November. Climate Knight of Cups in reverse. This person could have come off a little cold for a while while they were holding back. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, Seven of Cups, options, confusion, scorpionic energy, what to do, what to do, what to do. What do I really want? What's really best for me? I feel like this person was torn between tradition and what actually calls to their heart. You know, like almost like expectation of culture or family. Um, or others. They are saying others. Interesting. Others. As opposed to just listening to themselves. Talk about Knight of Cups in reverse. Oh, yeah. See? Page of Pentacles. 
<laughs> what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Seven of Pentacles is an analyzation energy. It's like a research student card. It's a student card. Studying these options. Studying these options. Uh, do I think that this person had multiple love interests? No, I don't. I don't. I think this person was really looking into what their options were to do in this situation. I don't feel other people here. I don't. Seven of Cups in reverse doesn't mean that, you know, doesn't apply to you. I just don't feel that intuitively. Seven of Cups in reverse. A reader could interpret this as looking at like multiple suitors. I don't feel that. So that's why I'm not claiming it. Seven of Cups in reverse for Capricorn. Seven <clears throat> of Cups in reverse for Capricorn. Seven of Cups in reverse. Oh, yeah, see? And then they held back. Knight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Yeah, so then they decided to hold back. I'm also getting that for some of these kings, because, you know, I love when this combo comes out. That's, like, the best combo to get. Seriously, guys. When it comes to love, that's the best combo for a partner. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm also getting that for some of these kings, they might be wondering if someone's immature. Might be wondering if someone's too immature. Someone's wondering that, whether it's this king or someone else. Someone's wondering that. So I have a Knight of Cups in reverse for Capricorn regarding love. Uh, king of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. Yeah, while this king was holding back, they weren't saying shit. What did I say? Holding the tongue. Holding the tongue. King of Swords in reverse does not communicate. They do not communicate. So I'm a, and if they do, it's strategic. If they do, it's strategic communication. So I'm a Knight of Cups in reverse, like trying not to reveal their cards. Overall energy, we have Justice. Libra energy, and then we have the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, wow, Jupiter energy. <sighs> Justice is trying to come in. Justice was trying to come in here. Justice has been trying to come in here, but hasn't been successful, is what I'm getting with that. As long as this person holds back, things won't be balanced. As long as this king holds their tongue and can't figure their own shit out and doesn't listen to their higher self, things won't be balanced and things won't move forward. But once they do, once they just start doing that, like I said, because they eventually will, they eventually will start listening to their higher selves. Justice will happen. This person will know what they want and they're going to go for it. In secret though, in secret, this whole secret communique with the high priestess and the eight of wands. High priestess and the eight of wands could also be telep telepathic communication. Okay, and also downloads and intuitive hits. Some of these kings are receiving those for those of abilities. Some of these kings are receiving those. Okay. And all the while, while they're holding back, they're not happy. They're not happy. They're nine of cups in reverse. They're not getting their wish fulfillment. Some are indulging a lot. Some are drinking a lot. Um, all while they're holding back. And then it's just like, okay, fine, enough. It's like, and why torture yourself, right? They finally stop torturing the, themselves. They get the advice they need. They start manifesting what they need out of this connection and what they really want. They eventually go for it, but in secret, in secret. And then we get the six of wands, the attention. I'm actually getting the word attention. It's also victory, without a doubt. It's victory, and they're determined to get this victory. So let's go ahead and look at the six of wands. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Give me a second. Mm. Mm. Oh, making it so hard to do readings. Um, okay. Let's do spellcasters. So I have the six of wands. So I have the six of wands for Capricorn. So I have the six of wands for Capricorn. So I have the six of wands for Capricorn. Regarding love for the first half of November. Some of the Six of Wands for Capricorn regarding love for the first half of November. Some of the Six of Wands for Capricorn regarding love for the first half of November. Some of the Six of Wands for Capricorn regarding love for the first half of November. Eight of Cups heading to the 10. Piscean energy. This is leaving behind doubt. I'm getting leaving behind doubt here, okay? The Eight of Cups always goes to the 10 of Cups. This cling, this, this cling? Cling. Maybe they're a little clingy. Maybe they're going to be clingy after being, a, after being cold for so long. Uh-oh. Capricorns. Decide if you want to clinger or not, okay? Um, anyway. Oh, excuse me, guys. Uh, this person's leaving behind the doubt. They're leaving behind the depression. 
leaving behind the sadness, and for some, leaving behind tradition. Some are making some serious changes here in order to make this happen, Capricorn. I want you guys to know that. Uh, some of these kings are quite seriously um, going against whatever they were raised with or whatever religion they were raised in to make this happen. Okay, just letting you know. That's not going to be for all of you. Do I have a six of wands? Do I have a six of wands for Capricorn regarding love for the first half of November? Do I have a six of wands for Capricorn? Not taking those. That's too many. That's too many, Spirit. Oh, yeah. See? The sadness, the darkness. Leaving behind the darkness and the doubt. Five of Cups, Scorpionic Energy. That's exactly what this is. Leaving behind that sadness and loss. Uh, Capricorns, if this is someone that you've been romantically involved with, and I want to say you most definitely have been to some extent. Um, there's a lot of insecurity that I'm getting too from this person that they've been having to work through, okay? Of losing you or fear of losing you. If they've lost you, they lost you. Now they're coming back, obviously. Um, but if they have you, but it's weird or it's quiet or it's kind of cold or it's not super like progressive or it's not going very fast, uh, they have a fear about losing you. Keeping you. Ooh, keeping. Keeping. Hold on, what is this? Hmm. Capricorns, um, we're not talking gender here, but just energies, right? Uh, whoever the masculine energy is in this in this spread, uh, for some of you, the these these masculine energies <clears throat> are worried about being able to keep you, like God, that feels very old school, very traditional. Um, like, you know, keep you <laughs> financially. <laughs> you get what I'm going with that? I don't I don't know how else to say that. You get you get what I'm saying. Like <laughs> if they could like financially take care of you. And after now saying that, I can hear some of the feminine energies go, I don't need I don't <laughs> like you don't want to be a kept woman. Yeah, I, I know, I know. I'm just I'm just the messenger. I'm just the messenger. Tell you the six of wands. Play with the six of wands for Capricorn regarding love for the first half of November. Play with the six of wands for Capricorn regarding love for the first half of November. Overall energy. Ooh, queen of wands. Aries energy could also be fire or water. That's a whole lot of sexiness coming off this feminine energy. Yeah, ha, no one, no wonder, no wonder this king can't stay away. This is a very irresistible, irresistible energy that I'm getting here with, holy shit, no way. Look at this, the devil, Capricorn energy with the 10 of cups, Piscean energy and the king of swords. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. The devil is not acting in a negative way here. It's just, it's like, it's that it's that irresistible it's that irresistible draw with the ten of cups look at that devil with the ten of cups devil with the ten of cups is not oppression that's ultimate happiness right it's just that like ultimate oh god how do i say that how do i say that like there's no not wanting this <laughs> there's no not going for this it's just like there's no not going for this. There's no not going for this. It's irresistible. It's undeniably irresistible, and this king knows it. And this king knows it. Feminine energies, you are incredibly attractive to this king here, okay? Not just physically. It's energetic. It's definitely energetic. They can't, they can't energetically resist you. There's something about you they can't resist, okay? And even if they've already lost you to some extent before, they're making secret moves to basically... To basically come back your way here because they do love you quite a bit but they're practical they keep wanting me to tell you that they love you quite a bit but they're very practical about it okay which i kind of like i like and a king of swords with this energy if any king could handle this kind of irresistible energy it's a king of swords right it's a king of swords king of swords stays grounded they stay logical they stay smart they stay smart they're not they don't let their they're <laughs> Hold on a second, guys. Mm. They don't let their emotions run the show. They don't let their emotions get in the way here. They're very clear-headed about this. This is just a really irresistible thing, okay? Really irresistible connection. There's no not wanting it. There's no not wanting it, okay? Yeah, I'm, I really feel strongly the devil is not acting in a negative uh, energy here. That's at all whatsoever. I'm not even worried about the devil being there, especially with the Ten of Cups right behind it. 
no way. And with the King of Swords? No, that's just, that's just deliciousness. <laughs> That's just deliciousness, okay? Uh, and the Queen of Wands, like, whatever you guys are doing right now, keep doing it. I feel like you guys are just kind of focusing on you, honestly. I think that's also why you're act you're being so attractive right now. And it's funny, didn't I say, didn't I say the king that I saw taking the throne was a King of Wands to the Queen of Wands? Um, either way, Capricorns, keep doing it. It's working. <laughs> it's working. It's working. Okay, my feminine energies anyway. My feminine energies. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get some advice here. Any advice for my Capricorns? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? If you don't want this person, you don't want them, but I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. That looks pretty damn delicious to me. <laughs> that looks really, really damn delicious to me, if you ask me, okay? Okay, just say it. You guys do what you want. You're the masters of your own life. I just tell you what's going on. I just tell you the options. All right. Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Where'd my light go? <laughs> Where'd my natural sunlight go? Got all dark all of a sudden. Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? 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 Ah, of course this card wanted to come out. Of course it did. Otter spirit, you're never alone. 42 breaking down to a six. That's pretty delicious. That's pretty yummy right there. For those who are new to my channel, this is a my two of cups lover, six of cups card. It's like the ultimate partner. The someone like someone who always has your back. Someone who always has your back no matter what. No matter what. Otters are so freaking cute. Sorry, I just have to say. And then we have Armadillo Spirit. Set healthy boundaries with the energy of three. With Hawk Spirit, let spirit be your guide. 32, breaking down to a five. Frog Spirit, clear out your clutter. 28, a cyclical energy here. Yeah, that clear out the clutter card. I feel like someone has been very guarded and resistant to this connection here. Like I said, this king has been holding back. This king's been holding back, holding their tongue, specifically holding their tongue here. Probably coming off very cold or probably coming off very much like, yeah, I could leave it or take it. Deep down, they had a lot of love and emotion for this connection. And it's like, and not to mention irresistible. Like, how do you resist that? Devil with the Ten of Cups and someone who can just pull you in like that, like a Queen of Wands. Who can resist that? Um, they've been resisting this whether that's because they've been going through depression or they've been battling an addiction, like drinking specifically, um, or they've been going through a very dark time themselves. And for some, it's also tradition was getting in the way. They were having issues reconciling their traditional values or the way they were raised culturally, religion, race, whatever. Whatever tradition is to this person, for some, they were having issues reconciling that with how they feel about you. And as this darker energy lifted, as the shadow aspects of themselves were dealt with, whichever scenario had to happen, right, for your particular person, they accepted it. They weren't listening to their higher selves. They were denying themselves quite a bit. This person does deprive themselves a lot. Um, and they're like, you know what? Fuck it. It's what I want. That is what I want. I know that's what I want. That's going to make my soul happy is to be with this person, is to indulge in this connection and go for this connection here, okay? So that's all those energies coming across in these three cards. Clearing out the clutter, clearing out that shit, and then Hawk Spirit, listening to their intuition, letting Spirit guide them, going to where they're guided to go. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but they're doing this in secret. Don't forget that. They're making these moves in secret. They're not telling anybody, especially for those who are struggling with tradition or breaking traditions. They're not telling anybody. I feel like that's why Armadillo is here for set healthy boundaries. They're protecting this connection. 
for those in that group that are protecting this connection, but I also feel it's about not being too guarded or have too many boundaries from this connection, and then that's exactly what they're being guided to do, okay? Beautiful, beautiful. And for my kings who are not doing that, start doing that, okay? <laughs> that's the advice if you're not doing it already. Any other advice for my Capricorns? Ooh, any other advice for my Capricorns? I like it. I feel like this is for both of the king and the queen here. Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Okay, that's it. We have Porcupine Spirit. Time for Beginner Mind. Uh, 48, that breaks down to a three. Communication. It's, ta it's time to take on a new perspective. For those struggling with tradition, it's time to take on a new perspective. And this, these kings already know it. These kings will come, come to that discernment on their own here, but that's what this card is indicating. I'm also getting for the queen, for, to the, for the queen to be open-minded towards this person, especially because this king has been so reserved. Come back. Especially because this king has been so reserved, holding back a lot emotionally, not really giving. And I feel like that when that happened, the queen was just like, eh, I don't got time for this shit. I don't got time for you. I don't got time for that. Mm -mm, I'm too busy. Queen of Wands is usually very busy. <clears throat> Queen of Wands, uh, try to have an open mind about this situation as they clearly have been dismantling a lot of like those ways of being, right? And battling a lot of that like darker shadowy aspects or even tradition itself. Uh, they, are t they are taking on a whole new perspective here because they're trying to follow their heart quite literally and what their soul is needing, what's good for their soul, what's good for their higher selves <clears throat> as told to them by their higher selves. Uh, so have an open mind about that, Queens overall energy oh yeah we're almost there guys we're almost there we have dragonfly spirit truth transcends illusion 22 which is a self map boo okay made a second video sorry i'm gonna have to stitch it um this is a very intuitive heavy energy okay or a very heavy intuitive card it's about that knowing and having the inner knowing here without having to do very much that's interesting queen of wands you already embody this you already embody this. This is mostly for the king. Once these kings accept their true emotion, the truth of what they really feel, hold on, and their inner truth here, because like I said, they've been lying to themselves. That's not for me. That's not for me. That's not for me. I can't have that. Once they surrender to that and accept whatever the truth is, all that dark energy will dissipate fairly quickly. So my kings who are watching, just take that to heart because there are some kings here who are watching. Take that to heart because the darkness will dissipate once you surrender. And honestly, guys, we should surrender all the time anyway. We have very little control over shit. <laughs> and there's no need to resist, resist, resist. I mean, what's the point of resisting, really? Like, if you really think about it, what's the point of resisting? Especially if it's something that's going to make us happy. A lot of these, this resistance coming from these kings, especially the ones in the tra that tradition group, it's because of other people. It's, they're not resisting it because they don't want it. They're resisting it because of what other people may think, or they're resisting it because a lot of these darker energies like depression and addiction, what have you, are kind of taking a hold of them, and that's their ego that they have to work through. But either way, truth does quite literally transcend the illusion of it all, right? They need to surrender to the truth. Queen of Wands, you already embody this completely, and it's that mastery of being able to do so, okay? All right, Capricorns, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to check out Patreon and Vimeo, and I will see you guys later. Have a great night. I'm going to go have some more tea, okay? Namaste.